Let's do this. is powerful as the climate impact grows that affect all of you and if you don't now you know we need all the molecules to share the load this transformation is powerful that's just the chorus <laughs> this transformation is powerful this transformation is powerful crowd interaction all right <laughs> this transformation is powerful it's not really a question the question is how do we execute and protect our brethren the conversation ranges from boardrooms to tables and kitchens take it from the calgary chamber of commerce i'm talking deborah yedlin it's a business and a science issue so read the reports shift the conversation to yes and like theater sports it's happening on multiple levels in every single country we no longer wander in the wilderness like Philip Dunsky who spent decades alone in the woods of the energy sector and even today on this Alberta panel he was the lone Quebecer and hey Alberta's different the most different that's debated Deborah said it what other energy market is so deregulated and hey like Philippe said that pyramid needs to grow renewables at the bottom solutions are regional and nuclear is at the top juice to everybody where they live we need a massive injection of capital in that pyramid that's capital power commercialized carbon credits we need them yesterday they stepped in and said it reliability affordability and decarbonation get it the power grid has to be based on basic physics we all benefited from power that was constant and how do we benefit from transition taxonomy audits how serious is the utility as a fund as a decarbonizer series investment network knows big up allison schneider allison's firm is watching you and all of your moves she even turned to avik like yep we audited did you looked under the desk to check on your climate tech and capital power? Damn, I was really impressed. That's what we need, y'all. Aggressive climate vetting. You can see Amit right there, visibly sweating. I'm just kidding. He was chilling two inches away, relaxing. Like, Ooh, yeah. Series audit, baby. Of course we freaking passed it. Because electricity powers our lives, y'all. This you know. We can't turn it off and leave folks out of the cold. But the net zero trend. Transformation is across the globe, and this transformation is powerful. Nature is powerful, the climate impact grows, that affects all of you, and if you don't, now you know. We all need the molecules, we need to share the load, because this transformation is powerful. This transformation is powerful. powerful. Electricity needs a jump start. Yeah, some of this stuff's hard, but like Philippe said, stop focusing on the tough part. We've already got the solutions. They've been invented. All we need is those solutions to now get implemented. The question is whether LNG is part of that solution or part of the problem because of the carbon pollution. What carbon pollution? Deborah had to clap back at it. She said, pollution is a dirty word. It's not pollution if you can't. Capture it. We won't escape it for 30 years. That's Allison's strong word. Deborah had to chime in real quick, like probably longer. Once again, it comes down to viability. Nobody wants blackouts or shaky reliability. But what can we build on top of that baseline? How much innovation can we really bring in at game time? Offsets and credits, they're great, but maybe not straightforward. What's the benefit in offset if nobody's willing to pay for it? That is a quote from Stephen Croker, the AIO broker managing indigenous investments and keeping it growth first and yes he's a joker sometimes things he say might be funny but Stephen does not play with indigenous Albertans money why because he's building equity it's intergenerational nobody wants to be the sucker in the global game of go and methane release is about to be regulated so maybe we can get a stable game of cap and trading yo whoa would that cap be a wonderful crowd pleaser never had to interject but hold on why do we even need it um allison had to be careful right there in this discussion 
pollution because it creates a market and a stable energy budget. Carbon markets need to be regulated to reject garbage. Effective measures and certifications, y'all take it from Arvik. Those markets can get broken and then broken again. That market's not going to be established with a single stroke of the pen. Canada created a liquid market in the past and it's great, but how fast can we make them? Months or decades? And when you build something fast and loose, how does that work for you? And how is Quebec going to de lick from California? But what do we need? Is it not just a power generator? Is it even a 14th securities regulator? <laughs> but make sure the transition is society wide. And I hope you enjoyed today's debate on how we decarbonize, because electricity powers our lives. This you all know. We can turn it off. That leaves folks out in the cold. And the net zero shift. Uh, it's happening across the globe, and this transformation is powerful, and nature is powerful as the climate impact grows. It affects all of you, and if you don't, then now you know. We need all of the molecules to share the load, because this transformation is powerful. This transformation is powerful. This transformation is powerful. And the people affecting this transformation are powerful. Thank you.